Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I am joined again by my wife Brenna. This is a very special in-depth review featuring the Ariat Legacy Arta Western boot and it is one of two giveaways for this month. So let's get into it. All right, before we kick things off, I have to mention that this video is also sponsored by Ariat, but it is in my contract with them for that not to color our review of these at all. Right, Brenna? What do you say? I say that's the best. We're going to be honest with you. You know you can always count on us for that. Yes, and a huge thanks to Ariat for supporting the channel. Now let's get into the review. All right, Brenna, what do we have in this box? Let's check it out. All right, we've got in here the Ariat Women's Legacy Arto Western Boot. I think it's more of a booty, but, you know, whatever. I'm excited to see what's in the box. Can well, we open it? let's do it. Go for it. Whoa. I like the sunburst sole on them already. Yeah, that's nice. It reminds me of the finish on Gibson guitars. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> Looks like we've got the uh, full grain leather here with the, it's very soft, it's very supple. It is soft. Uh, nice metal zip with the little, very classy leather pull tab. You can see they really went the, uh, the extra little mile to give you not that classic YKK zipper. They made it a little bit nicer, which, Kind of a zipper snob. You guys have seen the videos, you know that. Um, so I appreciate that. We do have like a leather lining on the inside. The stippling looks like it's probably pig hide, um, but it's really soft. It's kind of nice. We've got this nice braiding, uh, cording around the side. A little bit of detail, but it's not like super distracting. Overall, like a pretty neutral looking boot. I would say you could dress it up and dress it down yeah. if you wanted to. This looks pretty sweet. We like that. We do have a leather outsole here. I believe these are Goodyear welted and I got the uh, the brass nails. Yep, these are definitely Goodyear welted. Now these also have the white stitching on there. People are mixed about that. A lot of people say that it gets dirty really fast. Well, I mean, I agree with those people. It probably will get dirty. I mean, I'm not exactly mad about that because it'll blend in with the rest of the boot a little bit better right now uh, because they are Goodyear welted. The style of the sole is to come out a bit farther than the traditional women's booty or a cheaper non-Goodyear welted booty. So there is quite a bit of contrast happening with the stitching here. Um, so any way that we can kind of minimize that is is kind of in the best interest. So when it gets dirty, I think I'll probably like the look of it better, but I'm not opposed to it looking fresh and white when I first put it on my foot. Um, as a general rule, I try not to make my feet look wider. I just, because I have flat feet, I already have feet that look a little bit wider in general. So I like when I have like a really thin, um, thin sole around the shoe so it doesn't look too duck footy. Yeah. That makes sense. This does come out a little bit further than most women's boots like you're saying. I mean I didn't yeah. notice very much of a difference because it seems pretty normal for men's boots. Yeah. But usually in women's boots there is that really tight sole with nice tight stitching. This does come out a little bit further. Yeah. Not that it bothers me so much though. No. And we'll see what it looks like on but I mean it's not terrible. It's not a triple welt or anything. <laughs> Thank God. And they do have the uh, leather stacked heel with the rubber cap there. We've got a ATS insole that is non-removable. Yeah. And usually ATS insoles on the men's boots are removable, but this is sewed in. Still has the same feeling though, that foam and gel mixture. It's nice, honestly. It, it, they're known for their great insoles. I'd have to say that's the biggest value of getting Ariat boots is that uh, their insoles are damn comfortable. Yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like a lot of the boots that I've personally put on my feet on this channel are that like hard leather insole and it feels nice at first. Um, you know, it, it gets a little bit better too, like once you get past the break-in period, but that in-between break-in period can be kind of rough. Yep. Um, so I'm really excited for something that's a little bit more cushy. Yep, and these are, they're made in Mexico lines, so I'm, a fan of the Ariats made in Mexico, more so than the ones made in China, just because I feel like they're just made better and 
the leather is better too. Like they tend to break in a lot faster than those Chinese made models. They're really nice. They're well made. I'm excited to put them on my feet because with a, even this much of a heel, you can tired after walking around all day. So I'm really looking forward to that insole. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready to see what they're like? Yes, absolutely. Let's try them on. All right, so I've got these Arto boots on. They're pretty comfortable. Um, they're not too heavy, which I appreciate. Can move around, you know, plenty nicely in them. They've got a nice amount of give to them. Like, I feel like it's very supple leather. It's very soft, um, even around your foot. When I put my foot into it and like zipped it up, you could immediately tell that I mean, obviously they've never been worn before. They're a little bit tight, um, especially I have flat feet, so things always feel a little bit tighter on me because my foot is laying flat when it should be a little bit on an angle. So it's a little bit uh, different for me than I think it is for most people, but it feels really comfortable. It feels like it's gonna break in really, really nicely. I'm really loving this uh, ATS insole because it's like, cushy and it's not just in the toe box it's also in the heel they also look good from my vantage point um <laughs> i think they look really nice i don't think the white stitching is too much i think it will look maybe a little bit nicer when it gets a little bit dirtier once i wear them for a little bit um, but i don't think it's obnoxious or anything like that i also don't think that they look too wide um, we were talking about how the sole comes out a little bit more like a traditional cowboy boot would. I don't think that it looks too wide. I'm wearing it with a dress right now. I think it actually looks pretty good. I could definitely see myself wearing these. I think that the break-in period is going to be crucial, but it's going to be really nice. If I think about these versus something like the Bacastos, I think these are more thoughtfully made for someone going through your every day. Um, because they do have the insole, they are really, really soft leather, um, and the leather sole is, I don't know, it's just a little bit easier to bend. Maybe that means it's a little bit thinner or something like that. Um, not an expert, just giving you my opinion. <laughs> I think the Bacastos and more traditional boots that I have definitely need that full, full, full break-in period before you're actually even able to bend your toes. I don't think these have that problem. You can wear these for a day out, you can wear these to the mall, you can walk around all day on these, in my opinion, pretty much right out of the box. That's kind of a big selling point. But as someone who wants to wear my boots every day, I feel like I like this better. Sorry, Puris. <laughs> um, but if you guys are interested in getting a pair of these for yourself, now that I've talked them up, and I promise those are all my real thoughts, stick around because we are going to do a giveaway. Ladies, finally we can do something for you. All right, time for the extended test. Brenna, what are we gonna be doing in these areas today? Today, we're going to check out the Rose Garden. We gotta get to the liquor store, buy my brother a little housewarming gift, farmer's market tomorrow. Weekend test. Everything. Let's do like, it. What is a quarantine weekend like? <laughs> what can we do in these boots? <laughs> these are my favorite roses. All right, Brenna, what do we get? A little set for my brother. Some margarita mix for Margarita's Leda. And something for my friend in Boston. She loves this stuff. Ugh. Ice cream time. I like my soft serve ice cream twist and the dip. Brenna? Same. What about you? Let me know down in the comments. Cheers, Brenna. Cheers. That's what I'm talking about. 
and we are going to the farmer's market. Let's see what we can find. Right, Brenna? Yeah. How are they holding up so far? Good. They're very comfortable today. They're breaking very nice. Alright, so we are back after a three-day weekend of Brenna wearing these Ariat Legacy Arto Western boots. Brenna, what are your final thoughts on this boot? I really like this boot. Really? Yeah, I really do. This is a great boot. I'll be real with you guys. I haven't worn a lot of real shoes in quarantine. I've been wearing flip-flops. You know, we've been running around outside. <laughs> it's... <laughs> You know, we're home all the time. We don't go anywhere. What do you need shoes for? So my feet were unprepared for shoes. So when I first put them on, I was like, ooh, these are a little bit tight. But then they warmed up pretty fast. I would say within 10 minutes, I didn't really think about them being on my feet. I was just running the errands that I had to run and doing what I needed to do, which was really nice. The ATS insole that's in there is kind of like, it was really comfortable when I first put the boot on for the try on period. It was really comfortable in the sole right when I zipped them up to like wear them for the whole weekend. And it was comfortable all the way through breaking in. The sole was never a problem. The bottom of my foot was never uncomfortable. And now I feel like they are definitely broken in after all the humidity. And I wore these things for pretty much three days straight and we did a lot of walking. Yeah, we did. It wasn't like we sat around for three days. We did a lot of walking. Yeah, we only filmed the stuff that was halfway <laughs> interesting to film. <laughs> I would say the only pain that I had, I think this is pretty difficult of breaking in boots, is right around this, right where my uh, pinky toe was um, and right on where my big toe was. But that was really only at the very beginning when I put the boots on and then at the very end of the day, after I've been walking around for an entire day, and these boots are... I just burped. And these boots are brand new. So that makes sense to me. In the middle of that time for the, I don't know, five, six, eight hours that we were walking around, they felt fine. Mm -hmm. It was only in the beginning and the end there was like a tiny bit of pain, but it was really just my feet adjusting to being in boots. If it was a normal year and I'd been wearing shoes for this time and my feet hadn't adjusted to being free and fancy and normal, then I think they probably would have been a little bit easier, but mm -hmm. That's on me, not on the boots. It sounds like you have a lot of the same feelings about this area, which is made in Mexico, that I do of the area that I just tried that's made in Mexico. It seems to have broken in fast. It was very comfortable off the bat, even though that boot that I tried, the Circuit Patriot, had a different insole, I still had no problems with it being comfortable right off the bat. Yeah, no, they were great. They got a little bit of scuff on the back of them, um, and the soles took a pretty normal beating. I wouldn't say that for a leather sole, I think they did nicely. Yeah, I agree. Because this doesn't have the etched in design that many other Ariats do that are made in Mexico, I feel like it's breaking in normally and not too speedily. So you're gonna run through this leather sole like you would a normal leather outsole. Yeah. I think they look fantastic. You can see they're start they're getting that nice wear in line like right around here, mm -hmm. which I kind of think looks good. Yeah. Um, just from like where my foot normally bends, I think that it looks nice yeah. on these boots. On some boots, it can look a little I don't know like pointy or something like sloppy. It's, yeah, it just looks sloppy, but that can be attributed to fit a little bit. But I think yeah. that this. Looks really nice. It was very comfortable. I got compliments on these boots from my mom and uh, my sister-in-law, so I think that they're a winner all around, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I would say that they definitely were easier to wear around than the Bacastos, um, a little bit nicer of an insole than the JW, um, more of a sole for sure than the fries or the Steve Madden booties that I had. So these are not a fashion boot, these are fashion and function. You have a lot of good things to say about it all together, but yeah. what, is there anything about this boot that you're like not so hot about? It's not really a, a thing that you can fix with the boot. It's just like, I'm not a two-tone person. 
and I don't know if anyone else is like this, the brown sole and the black shoe is like, do I do black with this? Do I do brown with this? What do you do there? And a little bit of pinching, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that's my feet's problem. They got a little bit hot during the day, but that wasn't bad. The zipper did get a little bit stuck right around this Oh yeah, I just noticed that area. too, right here. But it just takes a, a second. So, thumbs up from you. I didn't wear them for like a year or anything, but for the entire three, four days that I wore them, I really enjoyed wearing them. They were a good boot, especially to have just picked up, brand new, put on my feet, worn for four days straight. Like that's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, not bad at all. If you guys wanna check back in at the end of the year, Brenna will be doing a ranking video where she ranks all of the boots that she tried out this year after many months of use. If you guys are interested in getting this boot, now's the time to announce the giveaway because one of you out there can win a pair of Ariat Legacy Arto Western boots in your size. Now this- Ladies yeah, only. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. This is just for the ladies. Guys, wait until the end of the month and I'll have another giveaway for you, but right now this is only for the ladies. Now if you want a chance to win this boot, fill out the link in the description of this video. Oh, and also part of winning these boots is subscribing. You gotta subscribe and fill out the link in the description. You only get one shot to enter and then entries will close on August 14th and then me and Brenna will announce the winner on Saturday, August 15th on a live Boots and Ballad stream right here on YouTube. Links to all of that are on the page at the link in the description where you will fill out that form to enter and win these boots. So thanks everybody for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe as part of the giveaway for this event and fill out that link in the description. We will see you on the live stream on August 15th. Peace everybody, thanks for watching. Well those area legacy autos can be dressed up or down or whether you are going shopping around or spending the night out on the town and they're always comfortable if you go all night long. Yeah, those area legacy auto western boots. <laughs> My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you for watching today. Good luck in the giveaway. Don't forget to subscribe. It's right down below. You know, you know what to do. Give it a good old tap tap a -roo. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Peace.